Serena, so nice to meet you. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you too. I really wanted to talk to you about your really fascinating work with artificial intelligence. Tell me a little bit about that. So I'm currently working in the Stanford Vision and Learning Lab, um, and we're working on a variety of projects uh, applying artificial intelligence to help improve healthcare delivery. And so uh, one of the main focuses of our work is creating kind of a smart healthcare space. Um, and so what we're doing is we're, we're basically trying to use computer vision um, to be able to continuously sense and recognize what's happening in healthcare spaces. What's computer vision? So computer vision is a technology that's, that's algorithms that are dealing with um, trying to interpret visual data. Hmm. And so uh, this can be in the form of pixels, so for example, images or videos, and understanding, let's say, if there's you know, a cat in them or what a person is doing. Um, but what we're actually working on in these projects, particularly with depth data. And so uh, this is just measurements of, of how far away things are. And so the benefit of this is that you can still process it and, and work with this data um, like it's visual data, but you actually can't, s it's privacy, privacy safe. So you can't actually tell you know, who's the person in it. You just see that there's kind of a blobular shape of someone there. And like, like an airport security? Uh, kind of, so it's kind of, but we're actually, um, they're not using this type of depth data, data for the most part, and so we have these uh, special depth sensors that we're installing in, in hospital environments, um, and using that, being able to take these depth measurements and um, use computer vision algorithms on top of them to understand, for example, that you know there's a person that's um, entering a room, let's say a healthcare provider, and what, what are they doing? in the patient room. So, so you know, someone came in, they turned a patient over in bed, um, they did oral care on the patient, they put compression devices on the patient. Um, and so these are all things that, for example, a nurse would do for a patient. Exactly, exactly. So our goal is to be able to uh, recognize these activities um, as much as possible and use that to, to both alleviate nursing documentation, right? So for example, in the ICU, um, there's, there's a lot of critical care going on there. Mm -hmm. There's a high density of activities and nurses also spend a lot of their time documenting them. Right. And so, so for people who don't know, nurses have to chart on the computer exactly. every time they do a patient care activity for someone. Exactly. Which right. takes up a lot of time and time they could be spending potentially with the patient. Exactly. So our goal is, is that if we can automate a lot of this and we can alleviate this documentation burden on the nurses, let them focus a lot more of their, uh, their focus on the, on the patients. Um, at, and at the same time doing this, we can do this in a very comprehensive, standardized way. Um, we can also make sure that you know, the prescribed care guidelines are being followed. And then at the same time, you're, you're collecting this huge uh, repository of data on what's actually happening in these ICU rooms. Right? So you can also use this um, to better inform future care. How is this being received by healthcare professionals? I could see some people being really excited, yeah. but some people feeling like it's big brother. So how has it been received? Yeah, so we've actually been working really closely with, with the healthcare providers, and I think that's a really important part of um, making sure that this becomes something that's um, beneficial and helpful to everyone, right? So um, we've been doing our pilot studies in a couple of places, including Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. Um, we also have uh, these sensors um, in a pilot study at Intermountain Hospital uh, in Utah. And I think a key has been really working closely with, with both nurses as well as um, physicians there and making sure, um, first of all, that, you know, the, the technology, as I, as I described earlier, is on depth data, right? So it's, it's not trying to pick out specific people and, and trying to, you know, target anybody. you don't anybody. know who they are. You don't know They're who blobs. they are. <laughs> you just kind of know what's, what's happening and, um, and really trying to focus on how we can use this in order to um, help, you know, improve care delivery, right? Which is, which is something that everybody, all healthcare providers want. And anything that gets providers to spend more time with patients and less time in front of the computer, I think is certainly a worthwhile endeavor. Exactly. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you very much.